Frankel from the New York Health and Racket team. I am here today to present your in-home video so we can continue being healthy and fit. I am the osteoporosis prevention specialist with our club and I have now chosen some products throughout the home that we could use in resistant training. We have weighted water bottles. If you happen to have free weights, they're wonderful. We have long towels as we use for resistance on our leg work, or if you happen to have one of the resistance bands. The class format will be today, a cardio warm up. Very important to increase our blood flow before we start and to work the all important muscle, the heart. We will start the bottom to the top. We're gonna start with our lower leg work, move up to our core work. We'll hit that upper body pretty good. We'll have some stretches for the neck and shoulders. 15 minutes is all you need. Everybody ready? Let's get started. We will now begin with our cardio warm up. Start marching right to left. Pick up your feet. Don't pound the floor. Then those elbows. Move those arms. Just like you would if you were fast walking down the street. Keep marching. Keep marching. Now open your feet and march it out. Pick those feet up a little bit higher and march and march. Okay, let's march in again. March, march, out again, one more time. Okay, ready? Let's start with side step. Step, close, step, close. Raise your arms, chest level, and squeeze. Your hands follow your feet. Keep it simple. Squeeze the chest and breathe. Keep breathing, everybody. Inhale through that nose, blow it out the straw of the mouth, right? Right, let's do four more, four more. Four, three, two, march again. Right, left, open again, go. In again, march it, and open it. Ready, side step. Your hands follow your feet. Squeeze the chest, keep the elbows high, keep the chin lifted, and breathe. All right, four more. Okay, ready, let's do hamstring curl. Step, kick, step, kick. Yeah, just curl the hamstring and try to get your heel as close to your butt cheeks as you can. Lift your arms, shoulders. Yeah, gotta get the shoulders warmed up, right? Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Four more, ready? Four, three, two. How about the heel dig? Heel, heel. Give me some bicep curls, curls. Curls, curls, keep breathing, keep moving. Yes, and we have four, three, two, we'll take it back to a march, march. Then those elbows and march, march. Yep, bring it, bring it, out, 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 out. Okay, now we're gonna lower the hands, arms are down. We want the heart rate to come down. Okay, now just lift your heels. Stretch the arches in your feet. Okay, let's do our hips. Get loose in the hip. That really helps your balance. Shake out your fingers. Get your blood flowing. Okay, now deep breath. Reach to the sky and then exhale, bend the knees. Do that again. Reach up, take it down. We're gonna do that one more time. Deep breath, inhale, exhale. Now place your hands on your upper thigh. Sit back in a high chair, okay? That low back, your core. So you round your back, chin in, lift the chin, flatten the back, chin in and round, take it flat, chin up. Two more. Round that back, flatten that back. Round that back, now flatten that back. Now roll up, one vertebrae at a time. All right, okay, let's bend that right knee. Take your toes up on the left. Stretch those inner thighs. Keep breathing, chest comes down, right over the belly button. Inhale, exhale. Okay, switch over to the left side, toes up on the right side. Keep your chest down and breathe. 
must have oxygen to stretch. Okay, let's come back in the center again. Roll up one vertebrae at a time, and now we'll walk in toe to heel. Bring those feet right underneath the hips. Calf stretch, step back. Right heel goes into the floor, both hands, upper front thigh. And breathe, inhale, exhale. Okay, let's pick up that right heel, slide back through the ball of your foot, and stretch, stretch your hip flexors. Okay, let's bring that back leg up, feet together, flex your left ankle, bend your right knee, sit back and stretch your hamstring. Inhale, and exhale, right? Sit back in that heel. Okay, let's push that left foot to the floor, pull your stomach in, and roll back up. Take your left heel, press down in the back, both hands on your upper thigh. Keep breathing. Lower the chest a little bit more. Feel a great stretch in the calf muscle. Pick up your back heel. Now slide through the ball of that foot. Stretch your left hip flexor. Yep, hip stretch, very important stretch. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Okay, let's bring that back foot up. Feet under your hips. Now flex your right ankle, bend your left knee, sit back in your heel and stretch your right hamstring. Keep that leg nice and straight. Inhale and exhale. Let's push that right foot to the floor, pull the stomach in, engage your abs, and safely roll up. Okay, gang, we're ready. So before we get started, I just want to go over one special thing. Listen to your body. If you have injuries, we will make modifications. So you have to listen to your body and perceive what your body is truly feeling in the workout. The easiest way to modify in a resistance class is to lower your resistance. Or don't bend at the joint more than a couple of inches. Okay, you ready to get started? The format will be starting at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the calf muscle, very important muscle for walking, standing, and balance. Okay, so I would always suggest hold on to a chair. So I have an in-home chair. chair. Okay, stand it. Stand behind the chair. Use your index finger. Don't white knuckle the chair, right? Okay, I want you to roll up on your tippies and then I want you to go to a mini squat and then roll on your tippies and mini squat, right? So let's do 10 more, right? Bring it up, put it down, right? Get those calf muscles fired up and working. Okay, we have five more of these. Come up on the tippies each time, maybe trying to get a little higher, right? And pull it up, two more to go. Do it one more time and pull up. Okay, now let's put the heels down. Now, just like we have the important calf muscle in the front part by your shin is the tibia muscle. And that is the muscle we use in fall prevention. So we just do simple alternating toe raises. Alternate, right? Get a little beat going in the brain. And just lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Okay, let's do about 10 more and we'll start to feel you know, that little bit of tightening there by that shin bone. Very important bone to work. Okay, bring that down. Okay, let's shake it out a little bit. Okay, the all important squat. I always think a great idea is to take the chair behind you. Okay, you want to grab weights. So today we're going to use what most everyone has at home, filled water bottles, okay? These will become our resistance. So we get pretty close to the seat of the chair, hold the weight just outside of our hips, and we pretend that we're going to sit down. So we shift our weight to our heels, pull the body weight behind you, keeping the knees over the ankles, and just when you think you're gonna sit down, Come back up and squeeze your cheeks. Let's go. Take it down and bring it up. 
sit in that chair almost and bring it up. Sometimes we like to call this the potty squat. Right, so you just sit down, but not all the way. Okay, let's do four more, right? Go, sit back, come on up, and sit back, come on up. Give me two more of these. Yeah, you got this. Do it one more time. Okay, now we go to split squat. It's a simple lunge position. You take your right foot, you step forward. You take your left foot, you step back. You lift your left heel. That's important. And we go down, keeping that front knee right in line with the ankle again. Don't let it go out over those right toes. There we go. And you push up and squeeze the cheeks again. Yeah, squeeze those cheeks. All right, here we go, two more. Let's do it one more time. Okay, gotta switch sides. Let's shake it out first. All right, step forward with the left foot. Step back with the right, push the heel down, then roll up to the ball of the foot. Hit it, lunges. One of the best things for those legs. All right, so you just go down and up. Keep an eye on that front knee. Don't let it go over those toes. Go down, bring it up. Take it down and bring it up. Two more. Do it one more time. Okay, bring it up. Let's shake out the legs. Okay, now we have to do inner and outer thigh. So we can either A, we can use pillows in the home, or if you have small little resistant balls, even a tennis ball will work. But let's go ahead and take the pillow. Okay, so you take that pillow and you just place it right between the knees and your inner thigh. You go down in a very small mini squat. Okay, reach those arms for a little counterbalance, and all we have to do is squeeze. Go in and out. Yep, see if you can pop that pillow. Yeah, yeah, that's the goal. We want to pop the pillow. You can already feel those inner thigh muscles firing. Right? Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. In and out and in out. Four, three, two. Here's the last one. Hold it in. Take a deep breath. Inhale now. And exhale. Now pump it in. Go. Pump, pump, pump. Try to pop that pillow. Four, three, two. Hold on. One again. Inhale. Exhale. And take that pillow down. Okay. Let's shake out our legs again. So now we have to think about the outer thigh. Okay. So I would again suggest grabbing a chair that you may have at home, make sure it's pretty stable, and you can either go with the resistance bands if you have these at home, some people do, or I find one of the greatest tools is a long beach towel. Very simple, just grab that towel, tie it in a pretty, pretty strong bow right above your knees, okay? Hold on to the side of the chair, extend that left leg out, and lift it and push, 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 right there. Outer glute, right? Outer thigh muscle. And try not to lean toward the chair. Keep the spine perpendicular to the floor. And pulse, 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 pulse. Four, three, two, hold on one. Inhale. Whenever we hold, we gotta breathe. Exhale. And you can put that down. Okay, move your feet. Let's do the other side. Slide the leg out, flex the ankle, lift the foot off of the floor, and pulse, 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 pulse. Inhale, exhale, right? You can feel that towel trying to pull your leg back together, right? Outer glute, outer thigh, real important muscles for our balance. Pulse, pulse, two more. Do one more, hold it there. I need to hear it. Inhale, exhale, and then you can bring that down. Okay, let's go ahead and take that towel off and let's start thinking about the core work. Pretty well hit the legs. So let's grab one of our water bottles. Take that water bottle, put it in your left hand, open your feet so they're outside of your hips so you have better balance in your stance. 
And I'd like you to take the knuckles of your right hand and put it right under the chin so we don't move the head or the neck. Okay, we're gonna crunch over to that right side, obliques. Take it over and back. So remember this muscle, the oblique. It is the widest muscle in the entire body and it's what holds you up. It's your body's corset. And you crunch down and you come back and you crunch, pulling that rib cage right to your hip bones and crunch. Keep the head nice and still. Keep your eyes on the horizon. Two more. Do it one more time and bring it down there and hold it there. Inhale, exhale, pulse it down, pump and pump and pump and squeeze. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Come up. Guys, let's do the other side. Great job. Okay, take the knuckles from your left hand, put it right under your chin. Ready? Crunch to the left, pushing your rib cage towards your hip bone. Definition of a crunch. Keep your eyes up on the horizon. All right, if you have a mirror at home, great to do this also in front of a mirror. All right, and crunch, and crunch, and crunch it again. Crunch, do it again. Four, and three, and two. Give me one more time, hold it there. Go deep and give me those pulses. Inhale, exhale, keep breathing, pulsing. Hold it tight, bring it up. Great job, everybody. Go ahead and put those weights down. So maybe we want to take a little bit of a stretch. So we reach to the ceiling. Okay, now we're thinking of pulling our rib cage away from our hip bones. So take that full body stretch up to the top. Inhale, exhale, open the arms and reach it out. So now we go to more core work. Very important part of the workout. So a chair is a great tool if you don't want to come all the way to the floor when you're doing your planks. So you just need to take your chair, push it against something solid that won't move, put your hands on the handle, step back, get on your toes, bend your elbows, and hold the plank. All right? You breathe. This is isometric work. Your heart rate will go up. So you must keep breathing, deep breath in, blow it out through the mouth, okay? A little bit more on the plank, we're almost there. Hold it, okay, go ahead, bring in the first foot, bring in the second foot, and pull yourself back up. Chair is also a great tool to work on our triceps, the back of our upper arm. So make sure again that it's against a, a steady surface, right? We sit down on the chair, we put our hands right next to our hips, walk your feet out, simply slide the butt cheeks off the chair, bend your elbows, straighten your elbows, bend your elbows, straighten your elbows, bend and straight, pulling your belly button in nice and tight. Let's do two more. Yeah, this is pretty tough, working against your weight, right? Okay, go ahead and have a seat. I always like to stretch the wrist after that. So you bring your hand down, and then you bring your hand up, and then you do the other side. Push your hand down, and bring the hand back up. Okay, now we need to get started on that upper body. So we're going to start with the largest muscle in your upper body, which is your back. Again, you can use the water bottles, or you can grab a free weight if you happen to have them at home. So I'm going to show you both ways. Grab that weight in your right hand, so that means you're going to step forward with your left foot. Step back with your right foot because you need the support on the opposition leg. Take that left hand, put it on your thigh, never press down on your knees. Lean forward, reach toward the floor and slightly front and pull it right to your hip. No need to pass your hip. Go right to the hip, reach forward to your hip and reach to your hip and you reach. Go, go. That's all you got to do, right? Reach it, pull. Squeeze your shoulder blades and make sure you're keeping your stomach tightly pulled in. Two more. Do it one more time. Hold that weight in front of your hip. Now take that weight toward the floor. Push off of your back foot and bring your feet together and safely stand up. Other side. Keep that right foot where it is. Step back this time with the left foot. 
place the right hand on the thigh, reach forward, and pull to the hip. All right, so remember, no need to go way past the hip. Once that dumbbell is right in front of your hip bone, that's when you start forward again. So you go front to back. Remember, it's a front to back, not up and down. So we go front to back because we're working the back. Go and go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more. Do it one more time. Okay, bring it in. Hold it by your hip. Now take that dumbbell toward the floor. Bring your back foot in and safely stand back up. Okay, now we need a second weight. I'd like to try this again with our water bottles, the bicep curls. Okay, let's grab the water bottles. Mm -hmm. Hold them right next to those outer thighs and place your feet directly underneath your hips. Look up, lift that collarbone, pull those shoulders back and down, and only one joint is going to move, and that's the elbow. So you bend it and you straighten, and then you bend and you straighten. And you bend and you straighten. So don't move the shoulder joint, only the elbow is moving. So you take that side view and watch how my elbow is right under my shoulder and I bend it and I straighten. And I bend it and I straighten it. Do that again. We have three more. All right, so certainly you can do more than one set, right? Yeah. So well, if you want to, you could do a couple sets, maybe a 15. Okay, now we want to work Again, on the back of the arm, so we take that water bottle again, go into that same lunge position, lay the water bottle right on your hip, okay? Your left foot will go forward, left hand is on the thigh, and you just extend. Go back, straight, and go right back to your hip. So it's from the outside, back to the hip, push, and again, it's best to take your eyes now and look down at your left shoe. That way your neck is not twisted. All right, so you want to look down, pull the stomach in tight, and do four more. Four and three, keeping that upper arm up, 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 and do it one more time. Bring it in. Okay, let's switch over to the other side. Okay, so we take our right foot forward, opposition. Water ball in the left hand, right hand upper thigh for back support, lean into it, start again. Straighten your elbow, bend. Straight and bend. Keep your stomach pulled in and keep your eyes down on your right shoe this time. All right, try not to look so much side to side. Gotta keep your neck as neutral as possible. All right, go four more. Four and three and two. Give me one more and bring it in, okay? Now I want you to bring your feet underneath your hips, okay? A little bit of shoulder work, okay? First we'll do a lateral raise, that means to the side, and then we'll do our front raises. Ready? Give me 10. Raise it up to the side, yeah, right? Now don't let the shoulder go up by the ears just because you're raising your arms, all right? And again, raise it up, bring it down, all right? So you inhale, before you lift it, exhale when you lift it. That's your exertion. Those double E's, exhale exertion. Okay, bring that down. Now let's do some shrugs. I like to always do my shrugs moving the shoulder back. All right, we don't wanna move them forward and get stuck forward, right? So take a little shrug and go to the back. Okay, now you take those dumbbells, put them right in front of your thighs, squeeze your shoulder blades, pull your stomach in, Take a deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, front raises. This is a great way to do shoulder because it also works your ab area as well. So you lift it and you lower, and you lift it and you lower, right? Okay, so remember you inhale and then you exhale. The breathing is the key. The oxygen level is so important. Let's do it one more time, one more time. Bring it up and now bring it down. Okay, a little rotator cuff. Same weights, bend those elbows. Now lock that upper arm into your ribs. And now just your forearms. They push out and back, out and back, right? Yeah, it's a real important exercise to keep 
the rotator cuff and the shoulder strong and protected. Do two more of these, right? Let's do it one more time. Okay, let's bring it down. Okay, take those water bottles, send them back down on your chair. Let's take a little bit of shoulder stretch now. Take it across, ah, oh, it feels great. You can also take that hand, you can even try to reach, give yourself a little pat on the back. Okay, let's do the other side. Reach, give yourself a little pat on the back. Right, right. Okay, so our final exercise is our chest work. So, our towel that we use for resistance, we're now gonna use for our mat. Okay, we're just gonna bring it down to the floor. Okay. Lay it down, all right, okay. Come to the knees gently, and then you bring your feet to the side. Sit down on the mat, feet in front, knees are always bent. Make sure those dumbbells are ready to go, and lie back. Okay, take your dumbbells to the ceiling, turn the palms so they're facing your knees, bend the elbows, straighten the elbows. So think that you're making a big triangle, right? So when you bring your arms down, that's the wide base. When the arms go up to the top, that's the point of the triangle. Always keep the weight more over your rib cage, not your face, not your neck. You've got to protect the shoulder girdle, all right? So you push up and down, up and down. Okay, so we can do about two more here, right? Let's do it one more time, push it up. Okay, now bring it down, split the weight in half, lay it on the floor. Okay, bring your thighs to your chest. Now we want to stretch our low back. All right, pull it in nice and strong. Just a little bit more core work before we finish up here. We go into the bridge. The bridge is one of the best exercises for your low back health and strength. Place your arms down by your hips and lift your hips up off of the floor. Squeeze your cheeks again and breathe. Now you can lift your toes if you want to work your shin muscles again. And you can just roll yourself down, press yourself up. Yeah, I call this the wave. Right, so you're waving up and down. It's best to keep your feet up off the floor, the toes. You point them right at the ceiling and work the tibia again. Okay, let's do two more, right? Squeeze the cheeks, that's real important. Here's your last one. Hold it up there. Inhale, exhale. So you can feel your hamstring working, low back and glutes are working. Keep breathing. Okay, ready? Just roll it down. We stretch. Bring your thighs to your chest. Pick the head up off the floor. Now take your feet to the ceiling. Slide your hands up, grab your calf muscle and straighten your knees as best you can, pulling the thigh to the chest and the chest to the thigh, and you should feel this back in the hamstring. Inhale, and exhale. Keep breathing. Okay, let's bring those feet down. Take your right ankle, put it on your left knee. Take your two hands, one inside the thigh, one on the outer left thigh, lie back and pull in. Glute stretch. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Okay, switch. Left ankle, right knee, right hand, outer thigh, left hand in between the thigh, and lie back, pull it in, and stretch your glutes. And breathe. Okay, let's uncross. Once again, both thighs to the chest. Put your hands underneath the knee, don't pull on your knees. Lift your head and shoulders off of the floor. Pull your stomach tight. Stay in a real tight little ball. Roll up, don't let those knees go straight. Ready? One, two, and three. You're up. Okay, let's roll over to one side. Grab our heel to the butt cheek again. Stretch your quads. That's your upper thigh. Yep, do a lot of work there. Okay. Turn over to the other side and just pull that heel to the butt. Stretch out those quads. You don't want these to get tight. Inhale and exhale. Okay, release that. So now we need to stand up. So either A, come to a sturdy piece of furniture, pull yourself up that way, or you can always bring one foot forward, 
Push yourself up to your knees, drop your fingertips, and slowly come up. Open your legs, reach up with the right, and stretch your tricep. Pull your stomach in again. We're almost there, guys. Okay, other side, stretch the tricep. Okay, bend those elbows, bring those arms back, stretch across your chest. And you know you can hold these stretches as long as you want. Okay, reach up one more time. Stretch through your lats. Your... Okay, how do you guys feel? Okay. So just remember, important aspects, listen to your body. We want to stay strong. We want to stay healthy. We want to be fit. Okay, signing off, Lee Frankel, New York Health and Racket. We got your back.